We're living in a very disruptive time. Digital disruption is all around us. It is happening to us, and it is also happening because of us. So my message today is really about a choice. You have a choice as to what role you want to play in the future of the digital economy. Do you want to shape it, or do you want to be affected by it? All of this disruptive technology that's happening, sort of how does that play out 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now? Because you have to make decisions about that since, we, since you don't change on a dime. Companies, governments, whatever it is, you have to sort of help them roadmap what this means to the future and build it out from there. Innovation is something that begins with us because innovation is something that we can feel based on the inspiration of someone else, based on the empathy that we feel for someone else. Because then technology is great, and as a result, all that we do with everything matters to people, and once it matters to people, well, then we got a community together, and that's the foundation of which we could build the future of business. And in my studies, as, as I was writing the end of business as usual, I kind of came up with this idea of digital Darwinism, which is the evolution of technology and society. And as it evolves, well, it tends to evolve faster than a lot of organizations' ability to change. And innovation then begins with us. And innovation doesn't mean how do you make a better technology or a better service or a better product. Innovation starts with perspective. It's personal, it's very human. How do we use insight and people and engagement and inspiration to either iterate, innovate, or disrupt. Because the one truth of digital Darwinism that I've studied over and over and over again is that for each and every one of us, there is a disruption event on our horizon. I often wonder how many of us are just iterating and creating technologies just because we can. But I would actually like to challenge you today. I'd actually like to challenge you to not just do what it is you think I have a problem to solve for, or to help me do something more easily moving forward. I actually want you to think about how you're going to create and unlock an experience for me to change my behavior. We have to realize that no amount of technology is gonna solve this problem. Empathy is going to solve this problem and our ability to go back inside the company when we go to work tomorrow to say, what can we start to do differently? What's broken today that we need to fix and how do we work together to get that fixed? Maybe I can go back and get people to see differently so that we can start to act differently. Innovation starts with you. Thank you very much.